Sue, so I am hearing that COVID levels are dropping to about where they were in early, mid-December, but the way we know is a little interesting. We measure wastewater, Rob, and it's a very important way to keep track of the COVID surge. And here in the greater Boston area, it's the Massachusetts Water Resource Authority, the MWRA, that has a tracking system which is run by BioBot, a Cambridge company, and they look at the genetic material from the Deer Island treatment plant and they measure it to find out how much virus is circulating. It's amazing science. Yeah, COVID can't hide because all the stuff that's coming out of us is all going to one place. But what is Deer Island and how did the treatment plant get there? Well, Rob, we're going to try and keep this clean because that's exactly what the Deer Island treatment plant does. But first of all, a little bit about Deer Island. It was once an actual island just off the coast of Boston, not far away, but now it's a peninsula that's adjacent to Winthrop. It also, because it's Massachusetts, has a troubling and complicated past. During King Philip's War in 1675 through 1678, it was a deadly internment island for Native Americans. And then in the 1800s, it was a hospital for thousands of immigrants from Ireland who were escaping the Great Famine. And then it hosted a poorhouse, which later became a short-term prison for Suffolk County the Deer Island House of Correction. That existed until 1991. And now it's the Boston Harbor Island National Recreation Area. It's home to an engineering and technological marvel, the Deer Island Wastewater Treatment Plant. When you're driving around the area, or maybe you're taking a whale watch out in the harbor, you see these 150 foot tall sludge digesters. And that's what's actually cleaning all of our wastewater. I never like to imagine what people did with wastewater and all that nasty stuff in the past, but I'm gonna have to ask you to tell me, for the listeners out there, what did Boston do with all their wastewater before this? I grew up in Revere in the 1960s and 70s, Rob, and I saw things wash up on the shore, on the beach, while I was just a youngster swimming, that if it happened today, would cause a full evacuation of the entire beach. Our harbor in Boston, was severely and dangerously polluted. So Boston's got that dirty water. I mean, that song wasn't lying, but when did things change? When did things get better? So in 1972, Congress actually did something. They passed the Clean Water Act and the Massachusetts Water Resources Authority was established in 1985 and the cleanup began. And the Deer Island Wastewater Treatment Plant is the centerpiece of the $3.8 billion program. And the Deer Island Wastewater Treatment Plant is one of the most technologically advanced treatment plants in the world. They remove the human and the household and the business and the industrial pollutants from the wastewater. And then that treated wastewater travels that 10 miles along out the outfall tunnel that was constructed, of course, hundreds of feet below the ocean, and it carries it deep, deep, deeply into the Massachusetts Bay, which is then being released in a much cleaner version than how it came in. I'm glad to see that the droppings that we're leaving shows dropping levels of COVID. Yeah, the next time you see a COVID prediction or a report on wastewater, just remember you can thank the Deer Island Wastewater Treatment Facility for keeping our nation clean and giving us a predictor on COVID.